Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Saving the Disaster campaign, the Grenadier Debacle. This is part 3 of it and we're still trying to learn how to deal with heavily armored uh, enemies. Uh, today is a great option for that lesson as the Sectoport and an Andromedon are here. At least one Sectoport and at least one Andromedon, 15 enemies overall. The potential to meet the hunter on top of that and it's a very hard mission so you can already see this can only become a an absolute nightmare if not played correctly so uh, on top of that most of our soldiers are actually out of commission so we're bringing the b team in most regards qb1 chipmunk and q rose you can see corporal sergeants and lieutenants um, Frodo is making her first appearance. Uh, she is supposedly going to carry this mission with her three grenades and um, her high accuracy. And I brought two sparks. And why did I bring two sparks? Number one, because I want to build up a roster of more shredding alternatives and sparks are actually quite good. Number two, Wally here was just sitting around uh, in the bay as a, uh, as a squire, a squaddy. Uh, without any options, uh, un uh, unused, underutilized, so why not uh, trying to level him slightly. Also, they never grow tired, so you can essentially put them on two missions as long as they are somewhat repaired. And if you have two sparks, they can even heal one another. This time we're going to go with uh, the uh, um, Serpent suit on our sniper and I've put the only available um, heavy suit onto our front line which gives us another rocket. So really what I'm trying to showcase here is rocket into rocket into rocket, a couple of further explosives. There is plenty that you can do in order to get enemies down. Now we're not fighting against any invisible enemies elsewise i would potentially swap this one here out against the ba uh, for a battle scanner the hunter also doesn't have mind control and uh, hence we can go in with uh, the team that we currently have so wish me luck as this will be difficult okay we landed this time we're coming in hot and we have 12 turns, not a lot, but enough to at least uh, get going. Earlier in uh, vanilla, you could just use the VIP to scout. I wouldn't do that now, uh, as it tends to lead to a dead VIP. Bastion moves up, haven't found anything or anyone. I am tempted to double move, uh, but I definitely know that there is going to be a problem with that. Out. So we're first of all blue moving single moves. Okay, I'll play it a bit slower. We don't know what we're dealing with. The hunter will come in immediately because we are already revealed. Oh no, he does not, okay. Taking high ground, super important. Again, nothing, that is strange. Okay, well, a couple of options here. One of which is get the sniper up to high ground. Again, no contact. 
Now it's time for some double moves. Uh, we're just positioning ourselves here. I'm on it. I'm on it. Sensors at maximum sensitivity. Fire shots are deviant. Movement. Okay, we already know the direction of the nearest pod, which is uh, to the north. Northwest from our camera. Fair enough. Nothing. All right, there is the first pack. Okay, fair enough. So we got Salvo, so we could use this one here in order to remove cover. Potentially not the worst idea. Yep, that's a good one. And we even got an action left over after that. Good, full cover over here. Get the Lancer. Um, running and gunning into high ground, half cover and full cover from the other side. I want to use any of our special abilities at this point. Captain is likely going to flee after this engagement. Overwatch here. Don't want to push in further. Two more turns until the next grapple, which will happen over here. But for now, we just got to work with what we have. A couple of overwatches. Interesting. Typically, he would not engage unless there is a pack of right next uh, or near him. Okay, well. On my way. Let's start this. Okay. As you can see, I'm pushing in a bit deeper to get a better line of sight. But I keep in the same kind of proximity with all of uh, the characters. I don't want an accidental reveal here. All right. Before we grab over, let's 
will very likely trigger. See, there we go. Now, the lesson about uh, the nasty, nasty sector port start. Double pack, not surprising. It happens if the enemies are clustering up. It's really not that much other than having a Reaper that could have prevented this from happening, but that's why we saved our cooldowns, didn't we? Starting to shred the sector pod. Triple shred on that hit. Good job. And I think we're just going to ruin their day. Because not only are both falling, this guy's even falling onto his friend. Oh boy, this is going to hurt. Good. I'm actually saving my grenade here. And instead repositioning because I want to get onto the rooftop next turn. I could have used two actions, but instead high ground uh, plus blue screen rounds. A nice little chain shot. Really gets that sector port down, doesn't it? And now let me show you why pistol skills are actually quite good. Because pistol skills benefit from ammunition. And if you have the right ammunition, sort of looks like this. You move in. Take the port lightning hands for 10 points of damage. And then we're shadow falling uh, and are getting concealment. So the enemy can't even hit us back. There we go. Good. Now, moving on to the original plan, which was messing up their day. That's what I call an advent sandwich. As uh, they are starting to fall further and further down. Moves up. Overdrive. Into some nice little priest hits. Into Advent Sandwich Part 2. Fall damage, fall damage. Uh, someone even fell onto the uh, onto the head of uh, the purifier, <laughs> which dealt extra damage. Alright, what's what, what heck could we get out of this? Reinforcements uh, not, not really worth the risk. Instead we're just overwatching. Moving up. Nice. Good hit. Good hit. Uh, 
And I think we're doing Advent uh, Sandwich Part 3. <laughs> okay, those guys are standing in the open. We've literally destroyed the entire first half of the building. Unfortunately, our overwatch didn't really work out well. There is the blade storm. Oh no, it's a low-level ranger. Never mind, there is no blade storm. He just killed himself. Alright, frostbite. They see me. Into pistol shot. And if I had quick draw, which typically you would have uh, if you skill pistols, I could have even taken a second shot. Which is the whole idea behind it. In case you wondered why did I freeze this guy, pretty simple, freezing improves uh, your chance to hit. Good, moving over here. And just maw them down. Again, had I uh, had uh, had we skilled the medical protocol, where is the? Are you kidding me? I took a med kit with me. Why? Oh, we ha we do even have gremlin heal. Never mind. Um, he apparently has skilled it correctly on this on this operative. Never mind. Second, you are so suspicious uh, or dubious rather about uh, the skills you were already assuming that that wouldn't work shame on you okay six more turns uh, let's begin uh, still an Andromedon pack somewhere Easy enough. Uh, we soon have grappling hook, so no problem here. And we have an outer loader, right? Yeah, easy. Okay. On your order. Moving down. Um, on continuing now. to go up. Alright. Well, there is a problem. Our little advent sandwich requires us now to move uh, through a different direction. Not the end of the world, but a bit annoying. And there we go. Lots of vipers. Okay, Psychum. So this time, don't destroy everything. We still need to get to the platform. Somehow. Grenade! Should leave enough intact to at least get up there. Or does it? Let's just double check really quickly. 
Oh, yeah, we... Yeah, yes, just barely enough to get up there. Okay, cool. So, Salvo. Can't talk highly enough about it because Salvo allows you to have a second action. And in this case, since it is the last pack, uh, our second action will be... to remove the remaining armor and kill the Viper. So that's one kill, full shred. Decent utilization of grenades. Like I said, it's the last pack. Hence, a bit more, uh, we can be a little bit more liberal with our grenade utilization. Um. Yeah, let's move in and teach that Viper a lesson, shall we? Oh, we missed. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, not optimal. Good time for run and gun, and even better time to move up and uh, flank the Viper. There we go. Nice, good job. The hair trigger, but uh, then the clutch miss. Of course. Viper decides to not get hit multiple times in a row. Um. Look, we can hit the Andromedon, and I think a protocol should go to Bastion. I don't want him to be hit. And at the same time, we can soften up the Andromedon, who is potentially going to use his stupid, his uh, stupid acid glob to hit both of uh, the operators up here. But maybe he's just moving up and trying to melee attack. Uh, it is entirely possible. Misses, thanks to the 8 protocol. Well, at least our evac point has been repositioned. Okay, four more turns. Time to slowly but surely get the F out of here. We're taking a shot like a man, or like a robot in this case. Minimum damage. Chest. Uh, chest bumps himself. We're moving away so that uh, mm, the Andromedon does not have the benefit of cover. And instead, it's now going to suffer the dire consequences of fucking around with us. Jump down. Uh, simply kill this guy. Good, we're continuing to move up. Do we have blue screen rounds here? Yes, we do. 
thank god. Oh, and even an execution, well, I would have had plenty of additional uh, damage left over. Huge grapple to speed up and we can even reach the extraction zone in one go. Unbelievable mobility with that suit. Seems to be another pack. Strange. Wouldn't have guessed that. Alright. A little bit of damage that we've taken. No, nothing major. And for a very difficult mission that was a good introduction into how to deal with multiple packs. Mainly get, uh, and with um, armor in particular, mainly get shredding onto multiple characters. In this time, the fi in this case, the fire support is more than wor worth it. Uh, just having a spark there uh, that can overdrive when the sector pod comes in allows you uh, at least two, maybe three shots onto the sector pod. And you even have the uh, shredding resistance order. So since you are melee focused, uh, let's go with Blade Storm for now, but we can get Implacable as well. Uh, I would have still skilled Rainmaker here. Intimidate isn't bad at all. Medical Protocol was the right uh, choice. Revival Protocol is the next consequent one. And Bulwark is fine, but I would go Adaptive Aim because you want uh, the Spark to hit. So I will try to um, skill Wally in a way that you can use it. It's a bit different uh, to how Mr. A has skilled it. Cosmicophobia. Chance of panic upon uh, having a psionic attack. Well, that sucks. Let's remove that trait. Cosmicophobia. Yeah, we don't want to take loot now. We need money and we need a Larium. That's what we need. Money and a Larium. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. The two Okay, so we got an upgrade for our bonds. That's a good starting point. Send them out together in the field. Their effectiveness will only grow. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. Lily, of course, is unhappy with uh, us not being able to utilize all of our uh, engineers. Can understand that. Do you expect that I would be fearful at the news of your discovery? You may be aware of Show active dark events. Yeah, the alien cipher really needs to go. As long as that is active, can't really do as much. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Build items. We want beam cannons. Uh, cannons. I actually also want plasma rifles, but let's start somewhere. Beam cannons are the logical first choice. We're low on Alarium again. I could purchase something, but unfortunately the um, Cypher Dark event is preventing us from doing that. And soon I believe we need to step in and go to this facility over here. Dragon rounds, not what I was hoping we would get out of it. Ready for deployment. 
Armor penetration is what I really would want to get. Good. Still alien cipher here is active dark event as long as this is running. Show of force just ran off, uh, which means less enemies. But you can see it's now 160 intel despite having a tower right next to it. Uh, live fire training will need to wait a bit longer. I don't want to sink 160 intel into uh, going there. Just got to be a bit more patient. Assorted loot could be really anything. PCSs, uh, ammunition, so might as well take that. Nothing better to do at the moment. Looks like it's time for a little target practice. Oh yeah, well... Let's... Uh, let's go. Let's do that. I think uh, we will need to go through Operation Go Strike uh, and hit that back. Then I think uh, it would be good to actually fight off um, one of the Chosens. We do have two uh, two sanctuaries and I'm a little bit torn because on the one end I want Mr. A to uh, have the satisfaction of going through them. On the other hand, now is uh, definitely a good time to just eliminate uh, the Chosen. Um, I'll think about how I will uh, do that. I'm trying to not play an entire campaign for them, but uh, essentially just get them through the uh, worst parts. Part armor will definitely be a huge upgrade. Um, plasma lens, we're again missing Alarium crystals. Um, and facility lead would be decent as well if we need it, but um, it is also taking twice the intel. So that's a problem. Which means we're potentially really going for uh, plasma lens next. I might need to buy and purchase more Elarium. Even if it costs a lot of intel. Oh, you have not upgraded any of the tactics. That e explains a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, potentially short on, on funds. Hmm, there are a couple of really good ones here. Uh, that, uh, that eye is great. Uh, mm, Hunter's Instinct is fantastic. I think we're just immediately going for uh, for that because it upgrades uh, the hunter damage just so much uh, the ranger damage just so much more anyways let me uh, first of all fight off the retaliation mission and then depending on how we did and how these guys here are doing I think uh, fighting off a chosen would not be the worst uh, idea but it's first retaliation time and then we'll take it from there trust me he knows all right very good um that's the end of uh, today's episode if you want to retaliate on the youtube algorithm uh there is a possibility to click the like button just saying uh that's always an option for you if you enjoyed it um, do that take care and have a good one see you in two days bye bye